the family of a five-year-old girl in Michigan who died after testing positive for the coronavirus has thanked Governor Gretchen Whitmer for implementing the state's stay-home, stay-safe order which has seen mass opposition. Skylar Herbert is reported to be the first child to die from COVID-19 in Michigan after she was taken off a ventilator on Sunday, reports the Detroit News. Skylar tested positive for the virus in March after complaining of headaches and experiencing a fever. She was later admitted to hospital on April 3 after relapsing and experiencing several other symptoms including seizures. She was then diagnosed with meaning oencephalitis, a rare complication of the coronavirus, which caused swelling of brain tissue and a lesion on her frontal lobe. After spending two weeks on a ventilator at Beaumont Royal Oak, her parents, both of whom are first responders, decided to take her off. We decided to take her off the ventilator today because her improvement had stopped, the doctors told us that it was possible she was brain dead, and we basically just knew she wasn't coming back to us, love Andrea Herbert, Skyler's mother, told the Detroit News. Beaumont Health also issued a statement on the five-year-old's death. The loss of a child, at any time, under any circumstances, is a tragedy, a spokesperson said. We are heartbroken that COVID-19 has taken the life of a child. We extend our deepest sympathy to Skyler's family and all others who have lost a loved one to this virus. Skyler's death occurred days after mass protests took place opposing Whitmer's extended lockdown order which is set to remain in place until April 30. The rally, named Operation Gridlock, saw thousands defy the order and congregate on the streets to voice opposition to the lockdown on April 15. Protesters also stopped their vehicles outside the state capitol building in Lansing to hold placards demanding an end to the lockdown. Whitmer condemned the demonstration, attended by people waving Confederate flags and showing support for President Donald Trump, as a political rally that would endanger people's lives. Trump appeared to show support for the protest, tweeting Liberate Michigan. On April 17 while continuing to attack Whitmer for her response to the coronavirus. Speaking to the Detroit News, Skyler's parents said they supported Whitmer's order, adding that her efforts are helping to save lives in the state. I want to say thank you to the governor for making people go home, Love Andrea Herbert said. Speaking to Newsweek previously, Whitmer said she hopes people will eventually realize why she is imposing the order and refusing to back down amid pressure from critics. People might not appreciate how dear the situation here in Michigan is and understand why I'm being so persistent, Whitmer said. But at the end of the day, I'm pulling out all the stops to try to get the help for the people that I represent. That's all I'm doing. There are 36,887 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Michigan, with 2,291 deaths according to Johns Hopkins University. In total, over 70,300 people have managed to recover from the virus in the U.S.